Making our neighborhoods vibrant and safe places in which to live and work and raise our families is priority number one. When I first ran to be your city attorney, I promised to double our marvelous neighborhood prosecutor program. That's where we send problem-solving lawyers into our communities, tackling quality of life problems, ensuring the blocks on which we live are safer and our quality of life is improved. Well, we doubled that program in less than a year, and this week I announced we've more than tripled this program, from eight neighborhood prosecutors when I first started to 28 neighborhood prosecutors today. That includes five new neighborhood prosecutor positions that I announced this week. They'll focus on regional hotspots throughout Los Angeles, ensuring public safety at Union Station, LAX, public libraries in the San Fernando Valley, They'll be curbing the theft of packages from the porches of houses in the valley and combating illegal dumping in South Los Angeles. Let me elaborate. Union Station is a key transportation hub in our region. Neighborhood prosecutor Andrew Sade is going to work with our law enforcement partners and service providers to reach out to homeless individuals who ride the metro each day and find themselves at Union Station at the end of the night. This is a great opportunity because when Union Station closes, these individuals are there and we can find them and work with them with the goal of getting them the assistance and housing they need. Across town, LAX is another crucial transportation hub. 100 to 150 homeless individuals, however, live at the airport. Neighborhood prosecutor Claudia Martin working with service providers, other partners, across jurisdictional lines, is going to be connecting these individuals with services and housing. Then there are communities in our city that suffer every day from significant illegal dumping. One such community is South Los Angeles. There, neighborhood prosecutor Khalil Rashid is targeting three notorious illegal dumping sites He'll be working with other people in the city family, with folks in the community, business owners, and others to significantly reduce the amount of waste that we find in our alleys and on our sidewalks. Our libraries, they're cornerstones in our community. They've got to be safe and welcoming for everybody. Neighborhood prosecutor Todd Gilman is going to be working to significantly improve library safety through enhanced staff training, outreach programs for patrons before problems escalate, and he'll be partnering with service providers regarding problematic patrons as well. His project is going to begin with seven libraries in the San Fernando Valley with the goal of replicating it in libraries across our city. And finally, you know, thieves are targeting homes and stealing packages left at our front doors. This is commonly known as porch piracy. California has the highest rate in the nation of package theft from our doorsteps, and Los Angeles is among the top 10 cities in the country with the most significant porch piracy problems. Neighbor prosecutor Rafi Aspasadorian will target areas in the valley which have the highest rates of package theft. He'll be partnering with major delivery services, retailers, and home security video services to reduce these package thefts and engage in deterrence activity, including public education. For today, the airport, our train station, our libraries, our front porches, and streets in our neighborhoods and alleys in our communities, these are locations that have to be safe and have to be clean and have to be open for all of us. These projects are the reasons we have neighborhood prosecutors, top problem solvers working to assure all our communities are safe and clean and welcoming for all our residents. I'm Mike Fewer, the LA City Attorney. Thanks for watching.